your story He took out an open And wrote something for me Then he kept walking on down the road Disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost And I looked down at what he wrote He said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Searching for glory I took out an open And wrote in my story Then I kept walking on Pray he reads what's on the note And takes to heart what I wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.
close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest This is Daniel with Dylan Darty. I'm happy you're here tonight. Did you see how that kind of caught me by surprise? I've got a timer for 10 minutes up there and I still get caught off guard. <laughs> Welcome to my channel where we are going to make some grid spotlight cards. What the heck is that? What is a grid spotlight card? I don't know what that is. Well, I know what it is, so I'm going to share it with you guys. I don't know what anyone else calls it, calls it, but uh, that's what I came up with tonight. Sitting there thinking, what am I going to call these cards or this technique? And I didn't create the technique, I just put a name on it. So, <laughs> hi Sherry, I didn't see Sherry, I haven't seen you in a bit, my friend. I'm so happy you're here. We also have the fantastic uh, Ryan in here with us tonight from um, Grunge Greetings. I know that's not exactly Gr glitter grunge greetings there. I knew there was another word in there. Glitter grunge greetings. We're happy you're here. Diane says she's an antique. Well, I do like antiques. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> if you're new and you are lurking kind of behind the scenes and you haven't said anything, please type in the comments new with exclamation points and all caps and I will shout you out. That'd be awesome. We want you to not, well, if you want to be a lurker, it's fine. But we would love if you participated in the conversation tonight. If you are interested in sharing a tip or a donation to my channel tonight, there is a link right there for you. You can click there and I will boogie my heart out for it. <laughs> Yes, Glitter Grunge Greetings. Ryan, we're so happy you're here. I just love your channel, man. If you're not subscribed to Ryan's channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click that button. That's my line. But yes, 
go follow Ryan, guys. He's got a great channel going on over there. Lots of fun. His style is much um, grungier, glittier, I guess. <laughs> it's a little different than mine, and I love it. In fact, when I first started, I wasn't sure in which way I was going to lean. Am I going to go toward the kind of, uh, which I love, the grungy look, like Tim Holtz kind of stuff, which I absolutely adore, or the kind of clean and simple look, which I also adore. And I think I've fallen more toward the clean and simple or cast cards. Not always, but, you know, we've all got our styles. What's going on? What are you guys up to this fine Saturday night? Placed your order with CCC free shipping until midnight. Thanks for saying that. I have a link here for um, Colorado Craft Company. If you guys want to catch the sale, because what I'm going to show you tonight is not going to be available till Wednesday for everybody. Tuesday for Stamp Nation members. But if you want to hit a sale tonight, free shipping is available on all Colorado Craft Company stuff until midnight I think Pacific time, so it might be two in the morning, Eastern time. So get that in there, guys. Get it in there. Get it in there. All right. Thank you. And even if you don't go shopping, just click the link. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Ryan. Hi, Raina. I'm happy you're here. Have you guys ever heard of grid spotlight cards? Is there another name for them? I don't have the sample with me because I mailed it in to Catherine Pooler for them to use in their uh, publicity. So I don't have it here. But I will, you know what, I could show you what I was doing. Let's see. Let's go to my files. I've got to be careful not to show you anything that I don't want you to see. And I'm going to go to my, let's go to Canon, what is it, Spotlight, maybe that's how I put it in there, I don't think so, let's do this, there it is, alright, can you guys see that, see that that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to make a card like this tonight. We see a grid, right? And we have different elements in that grid. You see my bald head over here on the left. <laughs> eee, there's my bald head. I was taking pictures for the thumbnail tonight. And we're going to pop those up on foam tape and then make a sentiment up here on the top left. I thought this was a really fun way to spotlight the different images in the stamp set as well as uh, make a great little, um, a great, it's just a great composition for me. I really love it. Hi, Jana Millen. Welcome, my friend. Yes, Sherry loves learning new techniques. Me too. I love it. Well, I think you guys are going to enjoy this. It's very simple. It's very it's uh, pretty easy to do, but it's so effective. I think it's just a really effective look. So let's come back to my handsome face here because I know you guys are addicted to it, right? And uh, take a sip of my coffee here. And let's get busy. Let's get busy. I'm going to take you down to my workspace. Yeah, I just made up the name, Lana. <laughs> I made up the name. I don't know what it's called either, but uh, that's what we're going to call it. So I'm going to turn the lights up just a little bit so we can get a little bit more clarity in, in here. And on this side, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to be using white cardstock. It's a great name for white cardstock, right? Is white. This is white cardstock from Catherine Pooler. It's like an 80 pound cardstock, so it's not super thick. 
but it is kind of specially formulated to use with her inks. So I do like to use it, it's fun. And I haven't seen Catherine pop in here yet. I don't know if she even knows I'm live tonight, but we may hear from her in a little bit. Somebody might want to tag Catherine in the comments. <laughs> Just to ping her, ping her, see if she gets over here. Or Erica Post. They may be busy doing fun, funner things on Saturday night. I, mean, I can't imagine what would be funner than this, but, you know. To each his own. Okay, that's a good question, Trudy. The reason was, or is, that these products are not available yet. I'm getting them out there in front of you before they're available so that you can um, anticipate their release coming up this week. So I've cut four A2 size card panels. I'm trying to wet your whistle. That's what I'm doing. All right. If you're a Stamp Nation member, they'll be available for you on Tuesday. Hi, Pat. I'm so happy you're here. Pat's new. Says kind of new. Welcome. And you can pre-order them on Tuesday, but they get shipped out. I mean, you just order them on Tuesday if you're a Stamp Nation member. If you're not a Stamp Nation member, you can go right here. There are some Stamp Nation members right in here already. So if you're here and you're a Stamp Nation member, why don't you chime in? Let's hear. Let's hear it, guys. There's a link to sign up for Stamp Nation for just about 10 bucks a month. You can get access to lots of uh, card classes and community there. Uh, an exclusive Facebook group for some really serious and fun card makers. So that's that. And you get ex, uh, access to early ordering for all of Catherine's releases. That's why the link's not working. Some of the links are working in there, so... The inks are there, but the newer stuff, the first several things are not going to be available. This is, um, this stamp set, let me get you the name of it, is called Mugshots Stamp Set. I see all you Stamp Nation members popping in there. Yes, that's a kitty mug, and that's a corgi mug. Isn't that awesome? And there are some flowers on that mug and a heart on that mug and some stripes. And some steam coming up here. Some really great sentiments make today so awesome that yesterday gets jealous. May your coffee be strong and your Monday be short. If you are going to rise, you might as well shine. <laughs> yes, I will update my certificate for you guys April because you may need to get the or hit that all you can or I want it all option when you order on Tuesday. <laughs> Don't you love the Corgi? Anyone else here a Corgi owner loves it? Then I have uh, in this bundle we have this Today Die. Really great serif font here. Really fun. Hi Bonnie. She's a Stamp Nation member. Isn't that a great sentiment? Yeah. And then here we have sentiments to go with that today, today, today die. Today is your birthday, anniversary, big day. You graduate today. Today you're getting married. You became a parent today. Today is the day. Today you became a dad, a mom. Congrats. You get to retire. Congrats. You start your new job today. Is all about you today, today, today. So there's lots of uh, great little uh, script fonts there for you to use. Trudy loves corgis. Oh, my nose itches. Then there's this great stamp, uh, I'm sorry, uh, pattern paper here called Daily Grind. And it has some really great coffee themes in it. Coffee shop, chalkboard, some uh, coffee beans, some great pattern stripes, polka dots. Look at that plaid. Who doesn't love plaid? Some latte art. Some miniature cups. See those cups? 
just like the stamps and then these awesome stripes here, which I love. I love them. Yeah, that coffee paper is really fun. And then something very special in this release is um, I had to make my own because I, ran, I uh, didn't have my own canister. Mine, I get kind of a double portion of these, but they come in a baggie. So uh, I had to, uh, I used all my Cincinnati sequin mix and now I just emptied it out and uh, put my Providence sequins in here. These are Providence sequins. They're kind of coffee colored and nude skin tones really great mix and i love it because um you guys i just ate dinner and i can see dinner under my nails i'm sorry about that i just took a shower before dinner before dinner too so it's not that i didn't wash up <laughs> but look at that fun sequin mix you guys want to know what i ate i had gallina estufada Gallina Estufada. That is uh, free range chicken. It's not corn fed. It is free range. That means they eat what they can find. <laughs> it's not exactly what it means, but these chickens kind of eat what they can find. And they're tougher, but they're much more flavorful. And... Um, it was, they were, sorry for all of you vegetarians out there, but they were prepared yesterday. And, uh, anyway. They're, they were cooked in this sauce that is called pepiang. Pepiang is a Guatemalan sauce. Um, traditionally Guatemalan sauce. And it has all kinds of amazing flavors in it. But it's orangish and yellowish, so it stained my fingers. And then I'm going to use these blending brushes. These are a set of four, and you get four for like 15 bucks, 14 something, on uh, Catherine's site. And they are just the perfect size, and so soft, and wonderful. So you may want to grab some of those. These are these are available now. The other things are not available yet until this coming week. So let's get started on our grid spotlight card. All right, are you ready? No worries, Jess, I'm so happy you're here, my friend. Gallina estufada, stewed chicken, yes, that's exactly right, it's a stewed chicken. Cincinnati mix. All right, I'm getting out my purple tape. I'm gonna pull a bunch of it out here. See that? See how I did that? And I'm going to tape off several sections. So let's get this as straight as possible on here. Just like that. Kale beets and goat cheese salad. Ooh, I love goat cheese. I love it. So what we're doing is we're taping off a grid here, all right? So let's get our grid taped off. And let's go right in the center here. So we're going to count. I should have done this right up against the line, but it's okay. One, let's see, one, two, three, four and a quarter is what we have, right? So we need to go... We need to go two inches over and one eighth. We'll just center that right here. We want to line right down the center. Kind of right, kind of in the center. <laughs> it's okay if it's not perfect. I mean, unless you're really anal about things. Then you may not want to mess mess it up at all, but I'm not that concerned. And what we want to do is create two more windows here. Let 
I'm going to have to find some more purple tape. And do I have another roll of purple tape? I do. It's under my desk. Give me just a second. Look at this. See this? It's my back scratching. But it's also my arm lengthener. <laughs> eee. Yeah, it looks centered enough, right, Preeti? Centered enough. And my motto is perfection is the enemy of good. I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to move this up just a, a smidge. Just a smidge. Like that. And then we're going to tape off each side right up to the edge. I've had this purple tape for about a year now, so I've been hoarding it, honestly, so I figured I would just use it. All right, so I have a grid. Right, Sue, perfection is overrated. I agree. And I'm going to open up my pack of blending brushes and get out some over coffee ink here. This is... Catherine Pooler's ink. Now, Catherine Pooler's inks are in pads that are very spongy. They're a sponge pad, so they indent really easily and they release a lot of ink. So, it's important for you to know that you're going to get a lot of ink released each time. I'm also going to take out a piece of this post-it tape just to kind of protect my next window down a little better, okay? So I'm going to take my blending brush, all right, and I'm going to darken it up down here. I didn't think there was that much ink on here, but apparently there was plenty on there. <laughs> I should have tapped off before I went on, but no worries. All right, we'll get it nice and dark at the base and then just let it kind of blend up from there. We'll darken it up as we go. We do want to get it all the way up, just we don't want to get it dark up at the top. We want to be able to see the line at the top, but we don't want to see, we don't want it to be too dark all the way up. So I'm going to tap that off and then do another window right here. Now they don't all have to be exactly the same. You can make them as dark as you like. Each one can be a little different. And we just repeat this. Are you leaving, Jess? Oh, tomorrow you're gonna break bake bread. <laughs> we are in a blizzard, or not a blizzard warning, but a, a winter storm warning for tomorrow too, so. Looks like Providence is going to get the brunt of this new storm coming through. We kind of missed it last time because it rained mostly here. Now I can do two of these at once. It's a great idea, Jess. 
Tomorrow's a work day for me, though. I preach every Sunday evening, so. <laughs> Diane, I think you're going to miss this one, right, Diane? You got really hit by the last one, I think, didn't you? How many inches did you get? last week now there are lots of ways you could do this you could do some you know that are you could do them all angled or whatever that'd be fun I don't think I need this now do I A foot, yeah. Last week you got a foot. I didn't get... I mean, we got a lot of snow, but it just melted with all the rain that we got on top of it. It slushed. Slushed out on us. All right. And now we're going to pull this up. You know what? Let's wipe it down. Because we can reuse this ink. Right. And I'm just going to carefully peel this up. And I'll tape put my tape down here at the bottom. This is the fun part right here, the reveal, right? Peeling up tape is so fun and satisfying. Yeah, if I preach tomorrow, I'll probably... I don't know yet because sometimes storms don't go the way they say they're going to go, but if it goes like they say it's going to go, I'll probably be speaking online only tomorrow. So. The money shot, that's right, right? Um, actually, our folks are mostly... Uh, Guatemalan and Latino from Caribbean islands and they are not really into American football very few of them so they're more into soccer so I've never had a problem having attendance on Super Bowl Sunday look at that beautiful layout we have here love it this is just just so much fun yeah soccer is a lot more fun for them than American football now I have already stamped and die cut a lot of mugs so I'm gonna use those for my card tonight let's get them out when I was uh, doing the sample cards hey Tiffany <laughs> we just uh, created this little grid here hi Allison thank you very much and uh, you like that Sherry and so I kept all of my extras because you know why go through it all over again some really great little images in here Ooh, there's my kitty cat mug, the flowers, the corgi, another kitty cat mug, another corgi mug, another striped mug. Look, I got lots of them in here. I even have a few that are already colored, so I don't have to color those. I'm going to use that one. All right. 
Let's move them out of the way and we'll do some coloring now. I've already picked my markers out for tonight. See how organized I am? Oh my gosh. I think I deserve a hand clap for that. <laughs> Della's super organized tonight. What the heck is going on with that? If you're getting any value out of tonight's video, uh, it would be wonderful. If you would subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, please. The thumbs up, the thumb, the thumbs up, hit that thumbs up. Take a second and hit that thumbs up. It's like that. See that? Hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Someone report to me how many thumbs up we got tonight, and then we can see how effective this technique is. I'm not going to stamp anymore until you guys give a thumbs up. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. But if you are getting any value out of tonight's video, it would be awesome if you subscribe to my channel. That would be a great way to support my channel. You can also leave a tip or something there in the with the link I just posted, and I'll boogie for you. <laughs> you want to see me dance? Look at that. Those are the colors we're using tonight. Browns and reds and underpainting with green. My wife just got home. I think she went to visit her mom. She's in the window talking to me, asking me what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. Eight. Trudy, you keep on top of that, okay? Keep on top of it. <laughs> Jess, I know everyone was applauding me, so I just, you know, put sound to it. That's all. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's color in. The kitty cat. I'm going to make this kitty cat. I'm going to make it a little bit um, brown. Or let's, you know what? Let's make them brown. We'll do E27, 29, 25, and 23. But let's also put some. Uh, cool gray in there just to uh, underpaint this. Let's see how this works. I've never done this one before. You guys want me to zoom in? Let's do that. We'll zoom in a little bit. All right. Tiffany, yep, that's exactly where they're from. They're coming up next month, next week, sorry. Which is your favorite mug? The kitty cat. Because <laughs> I'm a cat man. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so I'm going to underpaint here. This is a C6. I'm using a cool gray because it will add a bit more desaturation to the sides here and deepen my, my shadow effect. Deepen the dimension. And let's do this side. We'll have the light coming in from the front, so. There we go. And now we'll come in with an E29. Me too, Lana. We should have mugs made like this. I'd love a deeper, broader mug for my office. I'm always in the in search or on the lookout for the perfect mug. You know? I'm going to draw a fence here because I didn't do that on the other one and I should have created a fence there. Let's flip this around. And do you see how adding that gray really deepens the shadow on there? Now I'm going to go down to an E27 and just come right outside where I was. Did 
then an E25. Just come right outside where I was. And then an E23 to blend it all in. Is there such a thing as a brown cat? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking I would have probably liked to have that a little bit lighter. So let's come in with an E21. And Lana, this is not Expressit paper. This is Catherine's paper. But it blends nicely as well. There we go. I lightened it up just a little bit. Isn't that really nice? Oh my gosh, I love the little mug. <laughs> right, Robin? We gotta get that perfect little blend going on here. Your girl has some brown. Isn't there a like a chocolate cat somewhere? Some kind of chocolate cat? I know there must be. Lydia Sanchez, let me tell you something. <laughs> I think coloring is super easy when you give it a lot of practice. I'm just going to come in with this uh, E23. Like that. And then... The handle we'll get this treatment here yes that's right Cordelia Burmese cats that's there's a chocolate lab yeah I was thinking of those too but Hi, Brina. Lana loves the Expressit paper, by the way. That's awesome, Lana. That is a really, really wonderful paper for Copic coloring. All right, so we have that one almost done. Let's get give it some. Uh, let's give it some black coffee in there. How about that? We'll give it some. It's gonna just nearly be the same as the coffee or the coffee mug itself who else drinks uh, their coffee black besides me now I'm leaving a bit of white in there for the reflection of the drink inside see that just leaving it white did the same thing with that one Let's leave it white Okay, and now let's do this little guy. We'll basically do these all the same color palette, maybe lighter on some than others. This one, I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact way. Just uh, add some underpainting here. and do the same thing but this time I have to be a little careful because there are flowers in here you know so you got to be careful Hey, Raquel is here. How you doing, Raquel? Here to see the cat mug. Yeah, for real. I love me some coo crats. Jana, that was so kind of you. Thank you very much. I didn't hear that. 
Why did I not hear the super chat? I didn't hear it. All right, I got a boogie now. Are you ready? I'm up here on the top. You ready, Jana? This boogie's for you, my friend. First, an applause. And let's do the song. Thank you very much, Jana. That was very, very sweet of you. I appreciate that. That was awesome. Yes, God is good, Raquel. What prompted you to say that? I didn't see. I'm going to build a fence here with this E29. And then... Oops. E27. Do the same thing for the other side. I really appreciate you guys being in with me here tonight. You couldn't be Del and Artie if there were no Arties around. It would just be me playing all by myself, which I do most of the time over here in my craft room. So who wants a repeat of that when you can have friends come over, right? I'm just gonna use this E23. Got to get around these tiny little spaces. And then we'll do this piece right here. This one right here, the mug, and the black coffee inside. And some coffee. Let's do E25 for this coffee. Just leave some of that white in the middle there. That one looks like it has some creamer in it. All right, now we'll add some green leaves. Just some pops of color, like someone said earlier. And then some red. Like that. And a bit of light, lighter red for the insides of those. And we'll do this striped handle over here. There. 
There we go. What do you think? Wow, Cordelia, that's cool. You get to have it all by yourself. Nice. So we have three images colored in so far. We, we need uh, five because we need a sentiment. Let's do one of the corgis. All right, Pat, mine, my shipment comes in this Monday, I think, so, or Tuesday, I think. So I'm excited to play with it too. So the Corgi will do his cup a lighter brown, and then we'll color him in a little darker. How about that? Sound good? Does that sound like a plan, Stan? Let's do this and this. And then we'll do E23 or E21. Isn't it fun, Deborah? What a fun little stamp set. Now, I'm going back and forth with my marker, which is not the proper way of doing it, but it doesn't really matter. Proper is what I want. Proper is however I want to do it. Okay. So now I'm going to go darker on my Corgi. And give him some contrast. Now, are Corgi's faces dark around the eyes or dark between the eyes? I think we'll do dark between, or dark around the eyes. Like this. And like this. That looks right to me. It just looks right. All right, this is E27. I'm just going to darken up this side here. Maybe a little bit on his ears. And over here. And right there. And right there. And then I'll blend those in. He needs a pink tongue and some pink, pink cheeks. That'll work right there. <laughs> you thought it was a tongue or you thought it was teeth I mean, he would be a pretty buck tooth little dog I'm pretty sure that's a tongue hey Berta yeah how many thumbs up are on there now guys Hey Sue, I do not know what she's going to show because I was so excited she showed my set that I got first. So <laughs> I get to play with it all weekend on camera. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, and then this right here. 
And then for some contrast, we'll do darker coffee. Que onda Roberta, Roberta, Roberta Menchu. So I was in my small group just before coming here tonight to be with you guys. And uh, one of the members of my small group, he's a new believer. And uh, he just got COVID and he had not come to the group in a couple of weeks. And I thought, what, what's going on with, with this guy? And uh, I wrote to him and asked him and he said he wasn't feeling well. So he was staying home, staying put, not coming to church or the group for a bit until he got the go ahead. And he was fine. Thank God. Just a mild case of COVID. But I said to him tonight as we sat down to talk, I said to him in Mayan Kiche, I said, I said, Utsa witch. That means, how are you? What's up, witch? Watch a lot. How are you, brother? And he says to me, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> he, speak, he speaks Mayan Kiche and I, the white gringo, speaking English to him. And he's the Mayan Kiche fellow talking to me in English. I speak to him in his language and he speaks to me in mine. It was funny. We had a nice laugh about that. Surprised the other people in the group, too, because they started laughing. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Rebecca Marco. Have you guys seen Made It by Marco? Rebecca, could you plug your store on Etsy for the Arties, please? They may or may not have seen your store. And I am so happy to have you here. All right, so we have one more to go. Let's do the striped one. I'm gonna do. Oh, that's tough, huh, Cordelia? Oh, that's sad. He passed away. So many. I have an aunt who is sick right now, and we don't know what it is yet. And she's older and doesn't want to go get checked out. But she lives about 1,400 miles away from me or I'd run over there and make her do it. <laughs> Not that I could actually make her do it, but... Okay... never know when it's going to be your time to go guys not that I want to be focused on that but I'm just saying get everything in order all right that's e29 Come in with E23. And then I'm going to come in with this R27. Red stripes. You 
You want to see some green on there, Raquel? There you go. There's your green. <laughs> I may be able to get some more green on here. Let's see. It's a little late in the game for me, though. Unless I just ditched one of these and added some green. Oh, Sherry, oh my gosh. Let's pray for Sherry, guys. That was E29. Let's do E27. So many of you guys are just amazing warriors with health issues and I just love you guys and I hope that you're you're working through all of these things. It is not easy. Honestly, I don't know how some of you do it. It's just amazing. All right, so we have our grid that we made earlier. We have our cups here. Let's do that right there. And then we'll do a sentiment up there. I need a more, a little more cowbell here. A little more foam tape. Now these little uh, blended blocks here are just the perfect place to pop up some really nice things. Right, Raquel? My mom has one like that. Just a nice little nook full of coffee mugs. Thanks, Jen. I think this is a really fun little setup here. Let's not. Let's do this. that one there and this one here my favorite color Lana oh, I have to say it's some kind of blue-green that's I just love blue-green What's your favorite color, guys? All right. And a sentiment out of here. <laughs> I need more cowbell. 
could just stamp that right there. I don't even have to pop it up, but I think I, you know, I think I will just stamp it down. May your coffee be strong. That's what I want. I'm just going to put that right there. Dawn says red, maybe? Yeah. I do love red. I'm just going to stamp that right there. And if I don't like it, I can cover it up with a popped up one. How about that? Yes, Trudy, that's right. You are speaking my language right there. Trudy says, teal, peacock, blue, violet, purple, and yellow, amber, or mustard. Those are really great colors. I think every color is great, but, you know. Just going to get my midnight ink out. I can find it. Yes, it's over here. This is Midnight Ink from Catherine Pooler. It's a well-worn ink pad. I'm just going to stamp it straight on to my... I think that looks beautiful. I think it looks perfect. One time is all it took. Isn't that fun? What a great little card. If I do say so myself. There I go. Fun foam, yes. So this is Catherine Pooler's um, mug shot stamp set. It's coming out this week. Tuesday for Stamp Nation members and Wednesday for everybody. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, all right, all right. Am I missing anybody? I hope I don't miss anybody. What are you going to say, Trudy? <laughs> All right, I think it needs some sequins here. Let's get some of these Providence sequins out. Oh, thank you, Trudy. Trudy's talking about some, uh, a card I did with the mice from Anita Jerem. Lana was wanting me to make those on video, and so I did it. When did I do it? Last week? The bridge, yeah. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. It's only 10 o'clock, 10, 11. So we've been on an hour. It took me an hour then to make it. I think it's a fun little card. All right, let's get my... I have lots of these here. Let's do, <laughs> we're on the same wavelength there, Don. Thanks, Angelique. Thanks, Lon. I'm glad it was, I'm glad it was up to snuff, you know. Where are we going to put our sequins? Let's do one here. I'm going to pour out my glue. Get it going there. Let's put one here, one here, one here. Always in a zigzag pattern, for me anyway. There we go. One of these days, I'm going to buy some glasses for myself. All right, let's get the bigger one down first. We'll get that right in the middle. 
There were two in there. That's what was going on. We'll tuck that in behind that one. One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll do another one right here and tuck it in a little bit. Let's do another larger one. There are a few different sizes in here and colors, so. Love this. Whole mix is really fun. Okay, let's get the smaller one in here. there and one more small one let's do this one right here all right isn't that a fun card I just really like it Oh my goodness, Michelle, yeah, you might want to get checked. You know what? It either way, if you find out you have COVID, then you kind of have a you kind of get relieved that you know that you had it. And if you get tested and you don't have COVID, you're kind of relieved that that's what not what it was, you know? Thanks, Preeti. I get checked once in a while anyway, so I have had like five COVID tests. I had another one this week just to follow up with things, and it was negative, thank God. But uh, we get tested every once in a while around here, and I just want to make sure I'm not carrying anything since I already had it. and I don't want to be a carrier. I don't, I don't know how it works, but... There's my mama. Hey, mama. How's my Aunt Lenny doing? Could you please tell me how Aunt Lenny's doing? I told everyone my aunt was a little sick, so I'm just going to clean up my stamp a little bit here. Yeah, I don't do the neg the rapid test. I do uh, the other one. It takes a few days to get your results. Take that stamp out and put it away. Yeah, it's not it's not delightful getting that test, but that's the Providence sequin mix right there. Alright, who wants this card? If you want this card, I want you to do me a favor. Just click this link here to tell Catherine Pooler that I sent you her way. That's my affiliate link, just so you know. If you click it, it's going to tell her that I sent you her way, and it's going to get you ready to shop this week. So if you do go shopping from Kat with for Catherine Pooler's stuff this week, when the release hits, then I'll get a commission for it. So just a fair warning. It's no extra cost to you at all, but it does help me out a lot. It's an easy, free way for you to support my channel. Okay, so if you click that link, come back and tell me you clicked it. And I will pick a winner out of all of those who commented from the very beginning of the chat of the of the live tonight. Thank you guys for clicking that link, for supporting my channel. It's just a huge blessing for you guys to do that. It's a huge blessing to, blessing to me for for you guys to do that. Thank you very much. While you do that, I'm gonna pop this on a card base. So let's trim one down and get it scored. And adhere it on there. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Also, if you don't have to click the link to be considered for the win, I can't, um, 
I don't want you guys to have that impression, please. It, you don't have to click the link. Just say include me in the draw drawing if you don't want to click the link. It's not a big deal. I mean, it means something to me, but it's not required for you to be in the drawing. All right, okay, all right. Thank you guys, thank you for clicking that link. All right, Elizabeth. I'm happy you popped in though. Oh, Kirsten, you will not you will not be disappointed with her inks. I am in love with Catherine's inks. I know, Preeti. Tell me about it. I really appreciate that, Dawn. You're very sweet. I mean, if you want to go shopping tonight, you can go shopping tonight. If you want to look at her inks and grab the inks, you can do that. If you want to join Stamp Nation, you can do that. The link to Stamp Nation is right here. Let's see. I, I think I pushed it already in there once, but let's do it again. There's Stamp Nation. Did it not go in? S N. There you go. Dance Preacher Man Dance. Did someone do a... Oh, well, a Super Chat. See, I don't know why my Super Chat Dance thing's not coming up. I'm sorry if you... Anyone else send a super chat in tonight? Thank you very much, Deborah. That is very kind of you, Deborah Littlefield. <laughs> All right. Now, I gotta show myself up here. Let's do the boogie this way. Big screen boogie. <laughs> All right, ready? What kind of moves are these? I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what I'm doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, we got another super chat in here tonight. Thank you so much, Dawn. That was very kind of you. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna just be boogieing all night then. All right, I don't mind, let's do it again. Hand clap for Dawn. Ooh, there's the card, isn't that fun? What a fun card. All right, it's time to boogie. This is finger boogieing. <laughs> oh, Sarah, this is wonderful glue. Let me show you this glue, guys. That is called Barely Art Glue. And I will send you the link to it right now. It is available at... Catherine Pooler, so if you want to head over there using that link right there, you can just search for Barely Art. There we go. Barely Art. Raquel just put it up there for you. B-E-A-R-L-Y Art. Just search for that there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Deborah. That was very thoughtful. Very kind. I appreciate, always appreciate the super chats and the donations. The donations keep my channel running. They help me pay for my my Wi-Fi, my subscription to my um, what am I doing here? They help me pay for my Wi-Fi. I have special internet just for you guys. I have uh, my eCam, which is all of these things that pop up on the screen and our fun and our music. All of those things are things I I pay for for our channel for us to have a bit of fun. So when you do a donation, those things go straight to pay for those things. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It helps me pay for supplies and and everything. So I'm not a millionaire from it. 
but it is a lot of fun. So we have fun together. Let's a Glockenspiel. Who wants a Glockenspiel? Nikki Carter says she wants a Glockenspiel. Okay, let's do that. Glockenspiel. And how about a party <laughs> noise maker? <laughs> Uh, nice. All right, Cordelia. That's awesome. I hope you have a good time with it. The purple tape and the foam tape. All right. I think the purple tape. Yeah, the purple tape is listed right there. Why isn't that showing up there? There it is. It's in that list. The purple tape is gonna is available now. You just click that link and it'll take you to a list of all the supplies that I use tonight. The things in Catherine Pooler's shop, like the stamps and dies from tonight, are not gonna be in there. Thanks, Raina. But the inks are already there. So the inks are there, and the blender brushes are there, and um, I think that's all there is right now. All right. Man, we got a lot of people in here tonight, 86 people. That's nice. I'm happy to see all of you. I'm so happy you're here. If you're lurking and want a chance to win the card tonight, just type something in there. Type something in. You liked my jazz hand, Sherry? Thank you very much. This is called Mug Shots, Annie. Mug Shots. It'll be available on Tuesday for Stamp Nation members or Wednesday for everybody. All right, all right. Let's see. All right, I think we're ready. Are we ready? All right, I'm gonna pull up, go all the way up, and then all the way down. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I'm gonna scroll down. Oops, what happened there? And go down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Down. And I'm going to stop right here. Sherry Courtney. Sherry Courtney said perfect. That's who won tonight's. There we go. Sherry. Sherry's perfect. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry is a longtime Artie. Huge supporter of the channel. Thank you very much. Let's give Sherry a hand. And... Who's wanting to see the sentiments? You're wanting to see the sentiments for this stamp set? All right, let's do that. All right, so this stamp set says, make today so awesome that yesterday gets jealous. And then it says, may your coffee be strong and you can use that amber sand for and your Monday be short. You can see the name of it right there, Mug Shots by CP Designs. And this says, if you're going to rise, you might as well shine. <laughs> Isn't that a fun stamp set? Also in this collection or this uh, bundle, we have the pattern paper. You guys want to see that a little bit better. My paper got stuck there. All right, let's do this so you guys can see what's in here. I didn't even use those beautiful stripe ones yet. I'm a paper hoarder. All right, we got coffee beans. We've got some nice pattern paper. Polka dots. You're welcome, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry, just send me an email real quick, okay, buddy? I probably already have your address, but just send me an email anyway. So there's that. And then in the bundle, we have this Today Sentiment stamp set. Today is your birthday, anniversary, you're getting married today, today become a parent. The paper is not double-sided though, Deborah. that's a good question. It's one-sided. Today, die. We have coordinating dies for the mugs and the steam and then the chevron slimline die i can't seem to use my paper i just love it i want to keep it all <laughs> all right so 
here's the card. There's Sherry. <laughs> yeah, I think the fonts are really great. All right, guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button and the bell right next to it. Sometimes if you're not getting notifications about it, about my lives, it's because you didn't click that bell. So hit that bell and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a video or go live. Which one do you want to see in action, Lana? The Chevron Slimline? I'm going to be live again on Sunday night. So Sunday night, tomorrow night, I'll be live again. I'll be live again on Monday and live again on Tuesday probably. So I'm going to, over the next few days, be live a few times to help to help show off this bundle for everybody. Okay, so we'll get to each piece. No, the magnet does not come with them. This is something I do for my own storage, my own sanity. My own sanity. <laughs> Thank you, Preeti. Thank you all for joining me tonight. If you're on Facebook, could you hit that like button, please? And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, just want to thank you for using my links. But if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you can text the word ARTI, A-R-T-I-E, to 66866. And they will ask for your email address. Pop that in there. You become an ARTI. And you get my newsletter. So I will do follow-ups to my lives and send out product lists, news, and information. Um, blog posts will come straight to you that way. And it's a wonderful way for us to keep in contact. All right, guys. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you very much. All right. Have a wonderful evening, and I will be seeing you guys, Lord willing, tomorrow night if the blizzard doesn't kill us all. I won't kill us all. Talk to you later, guys.